Good morning, and welcome to Bad Bat Hikes. Today is day 143. I'm currently eating Pop-Tarts <laughs> as I begin my hike this morning. Um, the goal is to go 19 point something uh, up and over lots and lots of mountains. There's lots of climbs today. So that ascent uh, feet is over 5,000. I think it's like 5,700. It's a lot of climbing. It's a lot of climbing. But it's like a bunch of shorter mountains as opposed to yesterday where I had a lot of climbing but I was climbing for you know three hours in a row going up Killington maybe two hours I don't know it felt like three but it's going to be smaller mountain climbs as opposed to one big one so we are getting dangerously close to hitting the whites um if you have not heard of the whites before the whites are a mountain range uh in New Hampshire which I'm going to be entering here in a couple of days, that people have been kind of fear-mongering <laughs> about for the entire trail. And it's like, oh, you think this is hard? Wait till you get to the whites. Just wait till you get to the whites. Blah, 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 blah. It's either the whites or southern Maine are well known as the hardest part of trail. So my mileage is about to go way down. Like the land of doing 20s is over. <laughs> in 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 my hike at least we'll see I'll probably do a couple more before the end but definitely through the whites it's gonna be like 10 to 15 max miles and that's gonna be walking and climbing all day long all day long who so I'm gonna get to the lookout shelter tonight, which is a privately owned cabin. It's not, you know, owned by the ATC or on like AT property, it's on private property. But whoever owns it lets the hikers use it. Like it's marked on far out as a shelter. So it's enclosed. Uh, if it's clear tonight, cross your fingers. Apparently there's a really good view when you like climb on the roof. <laughs> so let's eat some more Pop-Tart, and get going. I'm at the main junction. So the long trail goes that way to Canada. I go this way to Maine. Bye, LT. So apparently the AT has you casually walk through like an actual campground, like a car campground. <laughs> this is so weird. I stopped at this really nice like break, like activity area. And there's volleyball and all kinds of picnic tables, a little shelter in case it rains, stuff to fix your bike, and then a water spigot. So I'm gonna sit here and have a very nice break. I stayed the night in that shelter with um, two hikers named uh, Double D and Dumpling. So that was nice. I've bumped into them both a couple of times before and then they were both at the the yellow deli but like trail is weird because like as y'all saw I was around a ton of people on my zero day but there were multiple ways to get into that town so everybody's now real spread out again and I've lost them because they're going into Killington <laughs> so I don't know if they're gonna make it to where I'm trying to go tonight but we're flying solo and that that's just gonna have to be okay <laughs> This is my kind of trail. We're by a lake, decently flat, not terribly rocky. I love it. Wow, this is gorgeous. There's a lodge over there, but this is the trail. Walks right past it. Look, they have a dock and like boats and stuff. Wow. So pretty. Well, when the phones are this close, you gotta take the side trail. Wow! And they run all the way down into the building down there. This is so cool! Can we all observe this butterfly 
getting the salt out of my sweat rag. <laughs> Butterfly. That is literally my sweat. I know it's salty, but that's yucky. Ugh. I've stopped. I've got a pretty decent view. I'm sitting on a rock for lunch. But over there, that's Killington. That's the um, ski resort that I hiked up and over yesterday. Which is just weird to put it in perspective. Like, I was over there. I was up there. And I went all the way down and now I'm up here. <laughs> it was a really gnarly climb to get up here. And it doesn't even have a name. Which is disappointing. But I was just pouring. I mean, like, just dripping constantly down my face like dropping like dropping off of my chin and I couldn't even keep up like trying to wipe it off but I tried and that's that's how uh Mr. Butterfly is getting some salt right now <laughs> bizarre okay I don't know how many miles I have left but it's a lot <laughs> so let me eat something and, and keep on going um Hello? <laughs> There's just a ladder in the middle of trail. Like a permanent one, like tied to a tree. When has this ever stopped the AT from throwing us off a cliff before? Oh dear. Well, let's go down a ladder. Ladder complete. Onwards down the trail. Hello, little salamander. I haven't seen one of you in several days. It's nice to see you. Get out of the trail if you want to live. I've got my rain stuff back on. Oh, my hat. <laughs> it keeps just like spitting rain and like spurts. Like I think, oh, I had a drop on the camera. Fun. We love smudges. Anywho, I've got like 0.3 till the last water source before the cabin I'm going to and it's a water carry so I'm gonna fill up there and then I think it's a little over two miles to the cabin and I am dead so let's get some water and get there we up this is the top of well I'm now going down but that was the top of my last climb I'm in a cloud so yet another pud for today I have lost feeling in my feet, but we've got 1.7 to the shelter. So let's get there. Oh, made it to the lookout cabin. It has been absolutely pouring rain for the past hour. So I am so glad to be here. Let's get inside. So as soon as we get here, it stops raining. We've got dumpling, double D's over there. I've got some uh, food rehydrating, you know, desserts at the ready, all that good stuff. So there's a bunch of people inside, <laughs> some whom I've met, some whom I haven't, but uh, should be should be a good night. I think uh, Dumpling and Double D are going to tent because they love tenting, but I will happily be inside the cabin and the windows have screens on them, which is super nice. <laughs> Oh, so very long day, very, very long day, but I'm proud of myself for continuing to, you know, keep that mileage high. That's going to come to an abrupt halt, um, probably after Hanover. Tomorrow I've got like a 17 planned, and I really want to have that be on the high end for me, from like here to the end, because terrain is definitely, you know, amping back up again with the climbs, and with that comes uh, sore feet, and very, very uh, slow miles. <laughs> oh, dearie. So if you want to follow along on my ET journey, make sure to subscribe. I also have an Instagram account, but for now, happy trails.